You're completely correct that using laminated glass as a safety glass is not dependent on what kind of glass you have in the laminate. So whether it's an annealed glass, tempered glass or for example a heat strengthened glass, it will still stick to the interlayer if something breaks. And, and that's a good point that when you're using tempered glass in laminated glass, you don't gain the immediate safety effect that you do in single tempered units where the glass breaks into smaller pieces and is not as harmful to people if it would break. But I would say that the advantages of tempered laminated glass are very directly related to other benefits that tempered glass brings to the table when comparing to annealed glass. And, and the main advantage of this is that it's much stronger than an annealed glass, so normally about four to five times stronger. And this enables you to bring huge amount of strength into the laminate itself. And uh, there are many applications where you can take an ad advantage of this. Uh, one of the most common ones is of course uh, on the extreme side, the hurricane resistant glazing, where it's common to utilize uh, tempered glass combined with multiple layers of some kind of structural interlayer so that you create a very strong laminate that can withstand the forces that, uh, that you see in these kind of extreme conditions. Uh, then maybe some more normal examples you see, for example, in balustrade glazing and, uh, and applications where it's useful to have either the added strength or the benefit that you're able to utilize uh, thinner glass instead of a thick annealed glass so that you're able to basically reduce the weight of the laminate and this brings you multiple benefits so for example transportation cost installation is easier uh, attaching the glass in the building is easier etc and i would say that these two are maybe the main main points that you get uh, then of course tempered glass does bring to the table for example better scratch resistance etc uh, which is why in many applications it can be a very valid solution, even in laminated glass. Yes, it is possible to unneed tempered glass. The main idea is to heat the glass to that high temperature that stress it say, relax. So you have to heat glass up to a five, six hundred degrees and then cool down slowly so that glass doesn't break during the cooling. The process depends on what kind of stress level you want. So if you want to decrease the stress level from 80 megapascal surface stress to maybe 30-40, then heating glass up to 500 degrees for 10, 10 minutes, half an hour, that might be enough to unneed glass to that stress level. But if you want to get same level as float glass, then you have to heat heat the glass to highest at temperature level, like 650, 700 degrees, and then cool down really slowly, just a couple, couple of degrees per second. And uh, then the equipment, what you can use, depends on, on the process. If you just want to uh, reduce cell, that stretch level to a 30, 40 megapascal, then heat soak furnace might be possible to use but if you want to uh, get to lower stress levels, then uh, maybe different kind of uh, equipment is needed. <laughs>